Howdy everyone, Stefan here on the French Cooking Academy and this week we're going to be talking about French food on the go. As you can see, I've got plenty of fresh ingredients and lovely soft bread, meaning we're going to be making a sandwich, but not any sandwich. We're going to make the famous Pan Bania, the iconic sandwich from the Provence region. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, to make this sandwich, these are the ingredients you're going to be needing. And for the mise en place, uh, the bell pepper is going to have to be cut in thin stripes. This is interesting. These are the leaves of a celery. Uh, so they start like that. And you basically do a chiffonade, uh, which is a rough chop of celery leaves. Interesting, we don't use any lettuce here. And you have to uh, hard boil all your eggs. Make sure you've got fresh tomatoes. Have some olives at the ready, some anchovy fillets. And the onion we usually use for that recipe is the fresh onion. It's the one that has not really dried, eh? but it's kind of hard to find. If you don't have this, what you can do is to use white onions and to remove that very pungency of the onions, you plunge them in water first like this, uh, in cold water, and then we're gonna, we're gonna rinse them out and use them. Of course, the bread uh, has to be super fresh, super soft very thick with plenty of uh, you know the white part of the bread inside so it can soak up the dressing all the ingredients will be listed on the video description now to make the sandwiches it all depends uh, if you're making them straight away at home to eat or if you intend to bring them on a picnic or something and enjoy them outside okay so what i'm going to show you here is you first need to make the dressing if you eat these sandwiches on the go you're going to have to have the dressing in the jar separate the ingredients the fresh ingredients in a box and your breads separately as well it's when you arrive at your picnic place or either, you know outside whatever you take all of the ingredients huh? and you're going to be using that dressing pour it on the bread first and then pour your ingredients so very simple the dressing is a classic one one pinch of salt you can have a grind of black pepper and the particularity you got three to four anchovies fillet that have been thinly chopped the rest is the classic measurement where you have one tablespoon of vinegar it is red wine vinegar and before you add anything else you need to dissolve this so the salt and everything and the anchovies has to mix with the vinegar first okay so a bit of a close of view here this is what i've got this is the base and from here you're just gonna add your olive oil you can go three to four tablespoon oh yeah i'm adding four because anchovies is quite salty okay and you want something nice and same thing here when you've got that you're going to take your jar here close it up and shake when it's done basically you can open your jar and this is what you've got and that kind of color here is a typical kind of color um in the provence region in a lot of dressing you got always this and it's very very fragrant because you got the anchovies of course and plenty of really really good quality olive oil now of course if you don't like anchovies you can skip the anchovies and just use tuna at the end instead now next of course once you're done with the dressing is the bread now the bread like i said has to be fresh this is very soft so just I'm gonna cut it in half and then open it like this so just to show you this bread is just plenty of very soft it's like a big mattress you know you could bounce on it and look at that and this is where we're going to put all that dressing all right now i'm going to do this on the plate i've put the bread on the plate because that can get very messy so you see this is where the crucial moment happen you take that dressing and you virtually you're going to be soaking the bread here with the dressing on each half all right so a closer look this is why this is called the wet bread in the old language because it is totally soaked you see how much there is and this is what you need to have a good experience a good sandwich experience and now for the assembly this is a very generous uh, sandwich so it's up to you but uh, i'm putting like two or three slices of tomatoes I'm gonna start with this and uh, nice and red then we're gonna follow up with a few onions and the amount is really kind of up to you we're gonna put a little bit of uh, 
this red pepper, bell peppers. You could use green one, I guess, if you wanted to. And then we're gonna add some eggs. All right, I removed the plate here so we can try to see something a bit better. Then we've got our eggs here. I love this, lovely eggs. And then it's just a matter of uh, decorating. So the lettuce is replaced with this uh, chiffonade of celery leaves, which is really interesting. And, and when you bite into this, it's gonna give you a different experience again. Yeah? So again, something different. And then you just finish up, if there is any space left, with a parsimony of black olives, wherever you can put them on. And this sandwich is always like that. It's always overkill. When you get it, it's always that huge kind of thing. <laughs> and it just calls freshness, as you can see. And of course, to finish, more dressing. Okay, so to finish off, you put a drizzle of extra dressing on top. Oh, it's gonna mess up my board, but at least you got a good view of the sandwich. And that's it. Now, now we're gonna be closing the sandwich. Uh, have a good look at it first. And when it's done, basically, and the whole goal is to actually take the other part here, and you need to kind of press it gently, but you know, comfortably with some pressure so that the dressing really goes through everything and everything gets, uh, goes through the ingredients, the white of the bread, so you get the full bread totally, totally filled up with this taste. And that's it. Look at this inside. You've got a pain bagna. So a last look on how iconic uh, pain bagna, the wet bread from the south of France. Let me uh, do a little tour of the sandwich. As you can see, it's full of uh, lovely fresh ingredients and the key of course here is the dressing and when you're going to be pressing all the flavors are going to mingle together and you're going to have that explosion of flavor and it's a very uh, simple sandwich to make but one of the important thing even when you make a sandwich in France is to respect the regional tradition and this recipe is one of the classic ways of making the real provincial style pain bagna. so this is an authentic recipe the authentic way with the authentic ingredients on how to make it. Remember, if you don't like anchovies, you can uh, skip them all together and sprinkle a little bit of tuna or something else that you like, and that would work as well, but don't overdo it and change too many ingredients. I always say try the original first and then start to make your own if you think it is necessary. But that completes the video for this week, guys. I hope you enjoy it. A very quick one, as always, if you have any question, Use the comment section in this video. You can share your pictures on Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy, and join my Facebook page and become a patron on my Patreon page. And don't forget, we always have our online cooking classes if you're keen on learning a lot of things about French cooking. Now, I'll see you all next week for another recipe. Take care all. Bye-bye.